Question 25. Y equals the f of x. The graph of y equals f of x is shown on the grid. So part A, on the grid above, sketch the graph of y equals negative f of x. So this putting the negative symbol before a function basically turns all of your answers into negative versions of themselves. So wherever y is on our original graph, the negative version will just be whatever it was normally, just flipped onto the other side. So when we have a positive value of y equals 1, it becomes a negative y equals negative 1. All of our values are flipped upside down, and therefore our graph will just be an upside down version of itself. Because it's a sketch, it doesn't have to be entirely accurate, but it is showing what's happening to the graph. As long as it looks like it, so you've attempted to turn it upside down, that will give you your mark. Now the graph of y equals f of x is shown on the second grid. The graph of g is a translation of the graph of y equals f of x. Write down the equation of graph g. Well, if we've got this original graph, it looks like our translation has shifted everything to the right six places. So logically, it might look like we would say this would be the graph of x plus 6. But actually, each of these values corresponds to what would happen if x was 6 values lower. So the graph is given using the function here of x minus 6. Because that actually shifts the whole graph right 6 places.